Hello my friend, today we're going to do um, spray for gardening for pest uh, control. Um, it's a little bit windy but it's very nice and warm outside and um, I'm Vika Drawn with you today and so let's do it. So we're going to get 16 ounces glass bottle with spray in and we need for that two tablespoon of pestle soap so i will use my device for that so one and two and then now we're going to use drops of peppermint so we're going to use peppermint first so 10 drops of peppermint okay and then next we're going to use 10 drops of lavender. lavender. Okay. And then we're going to do five drops of cedar wood. And next we're going to use um, lemongrass. Lemongrass it's a little bit strong for the plant so be um, careful it's a little bit photosensitive so um, I would the recipe said to add five drops I probably going to add just three drops to be sure that it's fine so smaller amount sometimes better and then to the end we're going to add just water you can use any water you like this is just more convenient for you to show so let's finish to the end and so ideally to spray it early morning or at night in the evening be after the sun that to prevent any photosensitivity and that's good to do once or twice a week uh, on your plants and then I'll give you some more um, fun tips so now it's ready shake two and just spray on the plants when you need it to protect your plants from any pests. Um, for fun and support, you can grab a small bottle and add their 20 drops of tea tree oil and then to the end finish with water as well. And if you need um, support for the end spray, we can use in the four ounces spray bottle one fourth cup of witch hazel and 10 drops of peppermint essential oils and just spray on the pathways or the area around ideally to find where they start from um, coming to the area you don't want them to see and spray this area and even a little bit more to be sure that they will not go and not creating different pathways um, for pollination attraction, you can use for one cup of water in a spray bottle as well, um, about five to six drop of wild orange or and or uh, lavender. So you can do just lavender, you can do lavender and wild orange and spritz 
finish to the end once again with water and then just spritz on the flowers to attract more uh, pollinating um, insect no pollinating uh, bugs to <laughs> fly to your um, garden and then some more tips i will read it and i'm sorry if i not pronounce correctly some of the insects um i'll let you know some more tips for pest repellents so for ants peppermint and spearmint for aphids cedarwood peppermint and spearmint for beetle be uh, beetles peppermint and thyme for caterpillars we can use lavender lemongrass sage and thyme for fleas peppermint lavender spearmint and lavender oh uh, did i say lavender two times oh rosemary sorry <laughs> also rosemary um for nuts it's patchouli and spearmint for lice uh, cedarwood peppermint and spearmint for mosquitoes lavender lemongrass arbovitae um, terra shield and we have now citronella as well and for moth cedarwood lavender peppermint and spearmint and for plant lice is peppermint and spearmint seems like peppermint and spearmint is good for almost everything and then for slags it's cedarwood for snails cedarwood and patchouli and for ticks lavender lemongrass sage and thyme for human you can use if it's already get on you you can use peppermint for uh, uh, for your pets, I would be concerned because for them, it's really hard to digest uh, peppermint oil. So be careful about that. And for billies, bevels, cedarwood, pacholi, and sandalwood. So I hope it's helpful for you and I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. It was a pleasure and if any question of course text me below and I would love to answer.